Oh, hi there, YouTube. Pulse Review here, a place where you get a quick take on the hottest products. And today, we're coming at you live with, okay. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Jordan here from Pulse Review, the place where you get a quick take on the hottest products. And today, we're hitting you with another video in our Logitech wireless mouse series. And we're reviewing the Logitech G604. This is another video in our Logitech wireless mouse series. Go ahead and check out the other videos if you want and drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We're gonna be reviewing the stuff that actually matters to gamers like you and me. And that is the sensor responsiveness, the customizability and special features, the weight and size of the mouse, the battery life, the aesthetic, and last but not least, the price point. Let's get this sucker out of the box. So the Logitech G604 comes with the Hero 16K sensor from Logitech. So what that means is you're getting a very responsive sensor. It boasts light speed wireless technology that gives you one millisecond response time and latency between your computer and your mouse. One millisecond, guys, is super, super fast. On top of that, there's no acceleration, there's no filtering, there's no smoothing. It's just raw input from your mouse. So be confident that the sensor on this mouse is top notch. Okay, so the Logitech G604 comes packed with special features and customizability options. So let's dive in. First thing I wanna mention is you get 15 programmable buttons. That's a lot of buttons. So if you are a mobile player, or MMORPG player, then you'll probably love this mouse. You got a button for everything on this mouse. There's six buttons right there. You got the left click, the right click, the scroll wheel click. The scroll wheel even pushes from right to left. You could program that. Then there's a quick DPI switch on the side here. Boom, boom, up or down. And then there's a button to make your scroll wheel go smooth or click. So we got smooth and clicky. If you wanna take advantage of all of those buttons, you're gonna need the Logitech G-Hub software. Make sure you download it if you get one of these mouses. I highly recommend it. You're really not gonna be able to get the most out of your mouse without this software. So download it. You actually can connect this via the USB dongle, Lightspeed Wireless, one millisecond response time, that's awesome. You can also connect it via Bluetooth. So if you have a dual PC setup or you have a laptop and a PC, you can actually switch pretty easily between both of them. They have a button right here. See that button, it's right below the scroll wheel click. That button will allow you to switch between USB and Bluetooth seamlessly. Also, it comes with a six foot cable, which is pretty standard for all of the Logitech wireless mice. One little minor touch is the scroll wheel is metal, it seems. It's pretty heavy, especially if you have it in the clicker mode. It, you know, it, you just feel the weight of that scroll wheel and it's hard to really know what I'm talking about until you experience it. But if you guys pick this up, let me know what you think about the scroll wheel in the comments. Pretty nice uh, storage for your USB dongle right there. It just tucks nicely right inside. You pull it out, slide it back in, and then this cap goes right over, snaps in nicely. I don't know about you, if you've ever had to move your mouse around, that dongle just gets lost every time. It's so annoying. This is one of the more larger mouses from Logitech. It weighs a little bit more. It weighs 4.76 ounces, 
or 135 grams with the battery inside it. That's the heaviest wireless mouse from Logitech. It's on the larger side, I'd say, compared to other Logitech mice. Pro wireless mouse is 80 grams, just to give you a comparison. Um, and this is 135, so it's definitely heavier. Last thing I'll mention is for my hands, which are pretty large, it fits quite nicely in my hand. If you guys have longer fingers, big hands, this is a good mouse for you. These side buttons though, I will say this, they're a little bit awkward to hit for my thumb. I have to reach all the way back and it's a bit strenuous. Like th this is where, this is the limit of the flexibility of my thumb and I can barely hit these back buttons. There's a lot going on with this mouse. There's a lot of buttons. I'd say Logitech managed to package it all very nicely in this beautiful, beautiful mouse. You get clean lines, nice glossy runway in the middle there, separating the mouse buttons. The, the metal scroll wheel has this nice shiny appeal. It kind of sticks out a little bit with this sort of like, I guess, chrome look to it. It's looking nice, I'm not gonna lie. Then I think a nice little touch is on the bottom. You have the sliders that allow the mouse to glide on your mouse pad real smooth. They're all arrows, kind of reminiscent of the you know, bottom up, left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. It's a nice little touch for us gamers. One thing that is a little bit of a bummer about this mouse, and I'm a huge fan of mouses that do include this, is no RGB. The logo does not light up. It's simply just a glossy finish. So, womp womp. Even though it doesn't have RGB, that is a bonus for the battery life. That is where this mouse shines. 240 hours of battery life on these AA batteries. So there is a little bit of a minus there. You don't get a rechargeable mouse, so you're going to have to replace the batteries or use rechargeable ones, but at least you get a lot of usage out of it. And that also means if you run out of batteries, you can always just put in more. All good stuff, a little bit of pros, a little bit of cons. I guess that's not all good stuff. Just don't listen to anything I say. And if you thought 240 hours was long, if you use it in the Bluetooth mode, you get it for five and a half months straight. Now I do have to say, if you use it in the Bluetooth mode, it is not as responsive as the USB Lightspeed Wireless. What's the difference? Okay, so the Lightspeed Wireless gives you one millisecond response time. The Bluetooth, gets you anywhere from 7.5 to 11 milliseconds. It's $100, which it's a little pricey. It's a little pricey for a mouse. You gotta keep in mind though, it's a wireless mouse. So the wired counterparts are gonna be cheaper. There's a little more tech that goes into these. You get a ton of features. And if you're a MOBA or MMORPG player, this is probably a great mouse for you. Is it worth the money? I'm gonna say yes. This mouse was designed for an MMO or a MOA player. Even if you're not one of those two, I'd say pick it up anyways. You're not gonna be disappointed. With all that said, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions, hit me with it. All right guys, thanks for watching, peace. We're hitting you with another video in our Logitech wireless mouse series. We're reviewing we're what? What the f was that? So, with that in mind, there are a lot of features with mouth.